For several delays, former NFL player Kellen Winslow Jr. has been sentenced to 14 years in prison. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us what happened during the hearing. Via a virtual hearing, Kellen Winslow sat and listened to his victims and their families talk about how his actions have changed their lives forever. That man is not a good man. I don't think you know how truly dangerous this man is. Ever since I've been raped, I couldn't lift my head or take a couple steps. I felt trapped, worried, scared. I felt like I had no rights. I couldn't live my life at all. I was very worried about my safety. Wednesday, Winslow was sentenced to 14 years in prison, which was agreed upon by his attorney and the district attorney's office. Last month, Winslow Jr. withdrew his original plea and pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of assault with attempt to commit rape. It was in 2019 when Kellen Winslow Jr. was convicted of multiple charges, including forcible rape. But the jury deadlocked on some charges, which forced a retrial. But before that could happen, things took a surprise turn when Winslow agreed to plead guilty to charges of rape, indecent exposure, and lewd contact. During today's hearing, the son of San Diego Charger Hall of Fame tight end Kellen Winslow sat with the mask on, not making any obvious reactions to what he was hearing. When it was his lawyer's turn to speak, he argued the years of head trauma from playing football contributed to these events, adding he's looking forward to getting the medical treatment he needs. Marie Cornell. ABC 10 News.